we got the crew going here. So quick, uh, here's some some quick thoughts, guys, about, about what we're doing here tonight. While we wait for some more people to sign on, my uh, my alma mater is SUNY Delhi. That's where I went to uh, to college, four year degree, bachelor's in, in business and professional. And we're here today to promote careers in golf uh, through that. So I was a specialty in the PGM program, which is more the golf professional route, who's going to be teaching in, uh, lessons, doing instruction, uh, running outings, things like that. And then there's the professional turf management route that we're going to get into as well, which is the people that maintain the golf course and that whole operation. So two different, two different operations, two, uh, two different uh, programs at Delhi, two different courses and two different degrees. And uh, we're going to cover both of those today. So just a little intro to what we're doing now. Oh, Jim's got the shot. There we go. Now we're talking about. So we got the logo, and uh, so we're gonna I had to pull. I had to pull that out for you. <laughs> so where? I think, uh, I gonna, think you had those made up in college, right? We did. That was back in the day. <laughs> one, one even original one prior to that too. But that, uh, yeah, again, I appreciate hang, hanging on to that thing. That'll be a novelty someday. I hope. Well, that's my wife's golfing hat. So she, she loves that one. Absolutely. I can't take it from her. She she, she like she likes that one. Good. I got a couple more coming your guys' way then for sure. I got to get you guys some more gear. Yeah, we like your gear. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. So there's a uh, – so, yeah, we're going to be diving into all things careers in golf. I'm going to talk to <laughs> who is a uh, one of our program directors uh, at SUNY Delhi uh, for the PGM program. We're also going to talk to some people, uh, an alumni of the Turf Manager program. Uh, I'm the alumni representative of the PGM program. But then we're also going to be talking to Brandon Palmer, who is the uh, our current PGM representative? Brandon Brandon's a senior in the program right now, and uh, and and then that's all. So, Jim, how do you uh, how do you feel, man? You ready to get going a little bit here? Let's do it. So, Let's do it. Intro. If you guys, Josh, here, please. Just excited to be here, and uh, thank thank everybody for checking in tonight and joining us. Absolutely, man. It's exciting. Got got a, a good crowd here watching, and hopefully, some people interested in. A career, a career in golf, which would be great. So now, Jim, quick, uh, people watching, Shot Shaver Golf Instagram, kind of know me about and, and my background. For people watching from the SUNY Delhi page, uh, guess I know my name is my name is Frank Argano. Again, I was a graduate of, of SUNY Delhi in 2018 from the PGM program. Uh, I started the brand Shot Shaver Golf uh, right when I graduated from college as my my personal brand for my teaching, my instruction, my business, and uh, and then and we kind of find ourselves we kind of find ourselves here now. But what we're going to break down is careers in golf through SUNY Delhi, uh, how I started my career off, how guys from the Turf Management Program degree started their their, their career off, and I get us some great stuff. So first and foremost, though, I got to introduce our our co-host here tonight for the first first portion of the the segment. This is Jim Lees. Jim is a one of the advisors for the Professional Golf Management Program in uh, at SUNY Delhi. Jim is also our internship coordinator. So each summer. Uh, we have required internships that we have to take. Jim was responsible for getting us all uh, some unbelievable jobs and, and landing, you know, most of the PGM program, their, their careers in, in the industry. So a lot of lot owed to Jim. Jim's an unbelievable asset for the program and, uh, and, and, and just an overall just great guy. Great guy to be around. So, Jim, that's, my, that's as good of an intro as I got for you, I think, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So just tell us a little bit, Jim, about kind of your background at SUNY Delhi. When did you get up there? What, uh, and what brought you to Delhi and, and, and kind of what you think about the, the program, some of your early thoughts? Yeah, so, I, you know, I've been here at Delhi with, with uh, two other PGA professionals in, our, in, our, in the golf man, pro golf management side, uh, Dave Earhart, which we'll talk a little bit about, and our uh, program director, Tom Fillion. Uh, we've been, you know, here, I was here and came in 2008, so this is my almost 13 years here at SUNY Delhi. Uh, Tom's been, Tom Fillion, been here a little longer than that. And then uh, Dave Earhart, our most tenured uh, staff or faculty member um, in right around 2000. So, uh, you know, I've been, I was in the industry like Tom and Dave for, you know, probably 15, almost 20 years before coming to SUNY Delhi. Uh, grew up in Pittsburgh. I uh, just followed the business uh, from Pittsburgh out to Chicago, and uh, really my my interest in the game has and in the business has always been teaching the game. So, of course, I Frank and I have had a lot of uh, wonderful sessions and conversations about. 
teaching and the golf swing and playing and all that. But uh, that's really maybe one of my areas that I like to table where we have, have Tom. Uh, Tom's a traditional club professional for many years, and, and he really knows the, the club business and the, the business classes. And, mm. and Dave is – Dave's our – you know, Dave's still our, uh, in the business. He, he manages our golf course, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And uh, he's also the coach for the men's and women's golf team. So we, we all have our maybe little areas of expertise and mine's teaching. And, and, uh, and you know, like you said, I, I uh, do a lot with the internships, which is a big part of the program. Uh, also try to help you all become better with the game of golf which is fun and then i teach some of the classes for for the professional golf management students but with with also we have a lot of classes where we have not just professional golf management we have turf the turf students the golf and sports turf and even some of our sport management students so i'm lucky enough to work with a lot of the different uh, program areas here in the applied sciences department. So, excellent. But I, I, you know, I love being here. Uh, we've been here 13 years. It's it's a wonderful college. Facilities are fantastic. The people are great, uh, and uh, we just want people to learn more about SUNY Delhi. It's it's kind of a uh, you know a little hidden gem up in the Catskills of New York. So. Yep, absolutely. That's the uh, always, always the terminology I use for it, especially <laughs> golf course, like you talked about, which, which we'll get to. But, uh, you know, you think about, like, you know, they have, like, a kind of this college golf course up there. Who knows what it's going to look like? And it's just one of the best. Me, me and you always laughed about a lot of alumni or, like, every time we go, we have to, back to get, you know, go back to play. It's a huge treat to play Del High. So, as you alluded to, unbelievable facility, unbelievable golf course, and all you need to get, you know, your career in, in golf start up, start up on the right foot. Um, and so just kind of alluding to that, Jim, is that, you know, some, somewhere – you talked about all the different uh, assets that we have campus about, you know, different careers in golf, different paths and kind of you guys as instructors have shown the different paths that you can kind of choose in the golf industry. The cool thing about the golf industry is that, uh, you know, the pros themselves really, you know, dictate, you know, the role that you want to have in the industry, the, the kind of job that you want to have, you can get really creative in, in what you want to do. And it's cool to see that evident through our own instructors at the, at the college. Yeah. And I, and I would be reluctant to mention, you know, our turf professors, we have wonderful, uh, really some uh, Ryan Abatey, Ben Suzuki, mm. uh, Julia Ward, Brigetta Brophy. We have uh, an incredible amount of expertise on that side of the, the table as well. And uh, they do a wonderful job. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about what that what they do and in, in their program because it, you know, we're we're one of a kind. Uh, we're the only school in New York State that has a uh, professional golf management program and a golf and sports turf program. So let's yeah. talk about let's talk about your profession, though. I'm, I'm going to steal your thunder here and Sounds steal the mic, please. Uh, just because uh, maybe you know, I, I know a lot of people follow you. You know, and we appreciate your followers coming out tonight, but. You know, maybe for those, uh, maybe from the SUNY Delhi side, let's give it, give, you know, you've, you've had a recent change and uh, I know, you know, you're very busy right now with a new uh, opportunity that, that you're pursuing. So, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so yeah, a little, a little bit of a background though. So, like I uh, said a few times now, but went to obviously career, career at Delhi, started <laughs> SUNY Delhi and, uh, Went there, started in 2014, graduated in 2018, and um, had a four-year degree. All my internships, uh, which we'll kind of talk about here in a little bit, but my internships, which is, you know, where in, in the PGM program, you're required to work at a, a, some kind of a golf facility each summer, which actually counts as a college credit as well. And uh, so that's just a huge asset for me. So like I said before, Jim worked hand-in-hand -hand with us, Tom, Dave, and, and, and get some of those roles and... Uh, my my roles were at uh, Richmond County Country Club, which is where all my intern uh, internships took place, which is my hometown in Staten Island, New York. Uh, I was there for five years, just finished up my fifth season at Richmond County. And as Jim just kind of pointed out, this uh, got a new opportunity now, which has been uh, incredible thus far at a indoor uh, golf 
indoor track man golf facility. <laughs> like throw the track <laughs> I dropped the plug for track man, but uh, it's right in Staten Island, New York. Again, my, my hometown where I'm from, also where Richmond County Country Club was, where where I worked for five years, but working at an indoor facility, uh, six simulators that we have here. Uh, I'm, I'm teaching here as well as I'm, 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 I'm running the joint as well too, though. So I uh, got recruited here by the, by the owner and, and where, uh, and we just kind of hit the ground rolling here open on Saturday for business. I'm on one weekend, as Jim said, a little bit of a nutty week so far, but <laughs> which, uh, which is a great problem to have though, which is, which has been exceptional, you know? So, uh, the new role is going great. It's really a, you know, a great opportunity. And then just, again, kind of another example of how, you know, I was at a golf course for a long time in a, a traditional kind of pro role. And now just branching out to the different opportunities that the golf industry has to offer, but a cool, uh, again, a cool industry because you can kind of get creative with your role and, uh, and seek opportunities that kind of fit where, you know, what, where your passion in the industry lies. So, so that's interesting, uh, where you are now. And I remember, as a student, you sitting in my office one day with the vision, and it was actually, and I know you were you were pretty close with Ray Ray Shot, and yep. you guys had the the vision of opening your own indoor facility, just like the one you're at now. So I, I think you know it speaks to vision and uh, really motivation to end up doing really what what you wanted to do you know, way back then, three, four, five years ago. Absolutely. Thank you for sure. Yeah. It's a, uh, but again, that same thing where it's like, you know, you have to have that, uh, just certain amount of the visions, the, the number one thing where it's like, you know, if, if you can't, you, know, you got to picture your best case scenario, you know, and then, uh, work, choose your, you know, your goals and, and, and the different decisions you make in the industry to, to kind of lead up to there. So, um, these opportunities don't come up, you know, all the time at, you know, some specific like this, a lot of, uh, but, but just a, a great opportunity nonetheless. And, and just again, another, <laughs> more evidence of, of how cool of a career in the golf industry you could, you know, really have genuinely, you know, love what you do every day. Like Jim said, this is something I've been talking about for a long time and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and it could really become a reality, which has been very cool. Well, we wish you luck with that. I obviously. Let's, uh, I'm going to side, side note, because I want to, I think we want to be very clear, you know, if you're not in the state of New York, you might not know what SUNY is. So what, <laughs> What is SUNY? I mean, we, we talk about it like oh, SUNY this or SUNY that. And Absolutely. People might be scratching their head like, what, what's SUNY? I think and, that's probably saying Because I know when, when I applied to work here, I didn't know what's – I didn't had no idea what SUNY was. I was out near Chicago and had never heard of – I didn't know what SUNY was. So what is, you know, what is SUNY? So SUNY, like I was just saying, probably pronouncing it, pronouncing it sunny as well. <laughs> and this pretty part. But SUNY is State University of New York, so – uh, there are, you know, pu a lot of public colleges throughout the throughout the state of New York that are run by the state, and uh, and those fall under the the SUNY demographic. So that's State University of New York is what is what. Right. SUNY. And then Delhi is the town where the college is located or the university, and it's uh, Delhi is located uh, kind of really, you know, New York is such a large state. And so sprawling, but we would almost consider ourselves right in the middle of the state, uh, but just a little south of, you know, a couple hours south of Albany and Syracuse, pretty close to Binghamton. We're three hours from the city, maybe from from Staten Island, right? Yep, yeah, just about, uh, just almost on the dot, about three hours. And then maybe like four to Rochester, four and a half to buffalo so we're kind of right we were really in a nice location centralized for the state and you know most of our students are from the state of new york and so uh we are kind of smack dab in the middle of it so yep. and we're, we're near the catskill mountains so i mean a lot of people might not know what suny delhi is so i just want sure. to make sure everybody's totally clear with that so Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just uh, like you said, though, man, Jim, right, kind of right in the middle of the state. We had people on the program from all over the state, you know, all, all the way up by Canada, by the border, almost up there, down to, you know, the city where I'm from and, and some guys on Long Island, which is cool, too, you know. So and a nice little Buffalo shout out as well there, too. We got a nice little the, the, the 430, uh, 430 to Buffalo we got. Thank you. Flying Grochman. And yes. Got Grochman. Also, also uh, you know, we get a lot of students from New Jersey, neighboring states, Pennsylvania, Jer New Jersey um massachusetts yep. uh new hampshire vermont so you know we primarily draw a lot from the northeast but would you know open to anybody 
interested in, in coming. So let's uh, maybe discuss a little bit about, uh, you know, why you chose, you know, you're, I know in your videos that uh, promoted tonight's Instagram Live, you, you talked a lot about, you know, hey, I'm a high school student, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, 16, 17 years old. I don't know, you know, what do I do? What, you know, what, yeah, was, but, what was your scenario like back then? And, it it was know? interesting, man. That was the, uh, so that was the thing. So I found out, uh, originally, I didn't know Delhi existed, which was a, a big issue, you know, about, uh, and, and something, a, a big reason why tonight, though, was to bring awareness to a great program and to, and to keep spreading the word. Did Jim got, got to flash the Delhi logo there quick as well. Great, but. Um, my Bronco Broncos is right, man. So my, my, uh, the story though is my mom actually stumbled upon the website, you know, looking, looking through careers in golf and, and happened to, you know, we, we luckily found, found Delhi and, and, and found that that was an option, but kind of talk about more of my state of mind, uh, eating into the decision was, you know, I, I said in that video, but my parents always told me growing up that, you know, if you love what you do, you, you know, you're usually, you're better at what you do because you work harder at it because you love to do it, you know, and you, uh, you know, you won't work a day in your life if that's the case. So uh, I was thinking about in high school, you know, trying to figure out, all right, I love basketball, probably not going to the NBA. Uh, I love uh, basketball player, though. Yeah, you know, I got, I got, but yeah, probably, uh, probably not going to the league. But we, uh, but, you know, I found out about career in golf. And, and I and I love, uh, I love people. I love working with people. And, uh, and golf is certainly golf, I actually. And, and I, Jim, I got to, I, I threw the TikTok post up. <laughs> that not, came out a few times i get him with the golf instead of golf so yes. i'm trying my best to limit the uh the the golf as much as i can but uh but again found out about a career in uh in the industry knew that i love teaching uh so that delhi also had a college golf team i was interested in playing college golf as well and uh and then and then that was that man but you know so again it was really just you know picking out my passion uh knowing just trying to pinpoint to really what i i, I love to do and, and, and that to me isn't isn't a just kind of a sitting at a desk job or whatever that might be to each their own but i knew i wanted something where like i said in, in, interacting with uh people all the time be around golf and and really just have a, a passion for what i do so uh like i said my got a shout out to my mom for for finding delhi might not be sitting here today if she didn't google the right thing there and and uh and let us and let us to delhi but but again really yeah, I, I, I remember you rolling into my office and introducing yourselves i think you had a talk with tom and then yep came, and I, I can still i can see that day and a little scrawny scrawny yeah you were you were uh, you were ready to go though you were uh you were definitely uh you know excited about it and you know personable and i think that that goes a long way i, I appreciate business, it. I, so. I couldn't believe that the I always joke, me and my mom was actually with me on that visit, and I, we always joke about, you know, I was like, I was giddy. I couldn't stop giggling, you know, when, when I saw the, uh, the facilities and stuff and, the, uh, and, 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 again, the golf course, meeting Dave through, throughout that whole day. I was like, I cannot believe that this place, you know, exists and this career exists. So uh, that's really why we're here tonight, though, is, is to, you know, if there is that high school student that's just in a little bit of a, a go but in, in between uh, what they want to do in their life and not trying to – it's a crazy decision to make at 15, 16, 17 years old of – you know, what you want to do with your life. So, and, and one of the great things I want to highlight about the uh, PGM program itself is that it's also a BA degree. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a regular bachelor's degree. And I'm sure we're going to get into all the specifics of that for sure. But that was something that really intrigued me as well. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, really, really stood out as well to the different, you know, real programs that they offer. Yeah. So that's a good segue. Let me, yeah. let me explain the, there's really three golf management specific degrees. Uh, there's the, it's a BBA and uh, it's called business and professional golf management. So, I mean, I think that's that's a good thing to have in case, uh, you know, we have some students that might go into something else and go out of golf. They've got their BBA four-year business degree. So uh, a lot of the coursework emphasizes both golf-specific uh, classes, but also some business classes. Mm. Uh, the, then there's also the – a uh, four-year golf and sports turf management degree. Uh, pretty sure that's also the BBA. And then the AAS, which is a two-year uh, sports and turf management degree. And that, um, you know, that's a two-year degree. Uh, but that's, an, uh, you know, that's an uh, associate of applied science. So, again, the turf side is a little more scientific. Uh, it's the maintenance of the golf course and, you know, the, the 
golf management, professional golf management, more of the business side, like Frank alluded to. Um, so what, you know, the career choices would be like Frank's a teacher, shot shaver golf. Um, you could work at private country club, public course resort, really anything in the industry uh, of golf. So just wanted to maybe talk about those briefly. So. Absolutely. And, and it's good to, uh, good to know, too, because there's a lot of, you know, people that might be interested in a career in golf. There's a bunch of different colleges, Jim, and there's some that aren't actually colleges. You know, these, these programs that get – uh, you know, marketed or spoken about these golf schools are much different than a, a four-year university, which Dell. Right. So, um, and even just for some, you know, peace of mind for you know family members that are, you know, if you're, you you people that have no idea about the golf industry, uh, you hear that your got your your child wants a career in golf, and you're wondering a little bit more about that. Uh, again, this isn't uh, this isn't just some kind of random school. This is a this is a, a bachelor's degree, and again for the the turf side of it and in set applied sciences and in the, in the PGM program, it's a, a BBA degree that you get from uh, any four year school, which is a, a huge asset and uh, it makes you way more valuable as well too, as an employee at, at a facility. Yeah. We suggest that, you know, you visit Frank's beacons page in his bio. Uh, there's a nice link there that we, we've, that he's been nice enough to uh, post that really gives you a, a much more detailed, Description also uh, tells you how to inquire about the programs and, uh, you know, get some more information. We're not going to be able to cover it all in just a little half-hour session. We're just going to try to overview it. But, uh, or visit simply delhi.edu. Um, go right off the main page. There's majors. Uh, you can set up a visit or talk to admissions rep there. So, um, you know, there's there's – Many of us here that would like to, you know, anyone that, that's interested or uh, wants to talk about a career in golf and the degree options that's at SUNY Delhi, please uh, visit those, one of those links or sites. So. Yep, absolutely. And they'll put you right in direct contact with the faculty or uh, faculty member for any of the programs. And then uh, there's also some informational sessions that are, happening now pretty much through the next month or two uh, that are live zoom meetings with faculty members so i had to play a little plug there yeah absolutely but this is the uh honestly wish i again, saw some stuff like this when i was a, a senior or, or junior you know in high school looking to make these decisions so this is kind of again these we're talking about a former student uh faculty at the at the facility that you can get to know so huge assets though so definitely keep following suny delhi for some more info about <laughs> <laughs> great again great problem to have new business we'll take the phone ringing which is great uh but and then a little bit jim if we can get into the i got a question down here just wanted to to take note of someone asked if you actually get to do stuff on the golf course absolutely so that's that's where you're going to spend yeah. your day to day that's our that, that's a good segue yeah, for maybe our next note would be yeah. just uh that we're lucky we do have an 18 hole golf course that's uh, right there on on our lower campus uh, really the best course in the county for sure. Uh, wonderful mountain course, really nice shape. Uh, one of our, our staff members uh, in the program managed it, Dave Earhart. And uh, so, you know, what, what's your unique experience? What do you do at the course, Frank, and, and as a student? So as a student, uh, it's, it's a couple things. Play a lot of golf, that's for sure. <laughs> One, it's uh, like I, I talked about in the first part, it's an unbelievable uh, asset to have a, re a really challenging and, and uh, the, the course is kept in unbelievable shape as well too. So it's an enjoyable track. But the, the things at the course itself, you uh, as a uh, student, a person in the program, uh, we have uh, like memberships that we could kind of, you know, that you, you actually wind up joining the golf course. So you really utilize it as an unbelievable asset and place of practice. Uh, you know, me and me and my guys from the team, also from the program, are down there practicing consistently, uh, and and really getting your game in check. You know, and and keeping that on point. And then from a you know turf turf standpoint, those guys are out in the golf course all the time, out 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 learning on the practice facilities, and and really getting good hands on, you know, learning there. But even you know, for example, from my my personal view, from our teaching classes, uh, working with Jim specifically, Tom Fillion, we you know we're we're literally standing there on the driving range you know being taught how to give a golf lesson on the short game area on the golf course things that you know you're literally going to be doing uh you know out in the field so again you're not in a, a classroom you know feeling these things out we're, we're literally out there in the field on the golf course on the driving range uh you know 
as hands-on as, as it gets, you know, doing, doing learn, learning different skills that you're literally going to be using on a daily basis uh, in the field. So having a golf course, having an actual golf course and a good, uh, an exceptional golf course at that uh, was such a huge asset, um, you know, being a student at Delha. Yeah, we were lucky, actually, you know, with, with the challenges of COVID, uh, with instruction and a lot of courses going remote, you know, especially, you know, during the fall session, we were able to to do some some instruction and some work face to face in person, uh, and and you know out on the golf course, uh, you know doing some club fitting, um, teaching some lessons, working on the swing. Uh, we collaborated the PGM uh, program and the golf sports turf program, uh, created some ideas, and they you know they did renovations out on the course, expanded some greens. Uh, redesigned some bunkers and then you know the golf and sports turf students get to actually get out and use some learn how to use equipment uh, they're doing the re they, they've done for the last two falls and uh, redesigned projects wow. um, they're the ones that are doing it with obviously no oversight from the faculty but uh, really excellent opportunity and in this environment we're still able to deliver some in-person classes mm. you know we we stayed in person with a couple of my courses uh well into october november before it you know you just the weather kind of went south but then you know we were able to use some of our indoor simulator facilities uh in a, in a safe way to to still deliver some content so okay. no it's great man See, it's a an unbelievable asset i've just got a uh a couple of comments too, Jim. We got for Tom Fillion, great comment there, and, and also a cool reminder too. Thinking back to uh, you know in the in, in the teaching classes, one of the cool requirement that we had was we would give actual lessons to our, our friends outside of the program uh, in in front of our peers. You know, give give, give golf lessons, actually hands on, learn the reps, even even down to you know the small talk that you need before the lesson. You know, every, every, no no detail was looked over with people and. And really got me and I, my whole class. I can I can speak for prepared for you know you know doing doing those things and all those hands on, especially teaching a golf lesson. Uh, you know, getting getting into the real world, which is great. And then also another comment: Do you have to be on the golf team to be in this program? You absolutely do not. Yep. So two two separate entities. Uh, the golf the golf team as we the Dell got that Dell High Broncos comment as well too, <laughs> reminding us got that incredible NCAA logo a few years ago. So we're NCAA Division three for the men's and women's golf team, but the men's and women's golf team are two separate entities from the actual PGM program itself, but definitely a, a great question for sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just, just a couple things. Um, we, we've had some turf students that have played on the golf team. I remember, uh, you know, Aaron Oliver, uh, George Descharm, you know, so it's it, the team that doesn't just, you know, consist of professional golf management students yep. anybody's open to the golf team so but uh you know we do a lot of things with with if, you, if you're not on the team there's still player development courses where you take that you're actually out there playing or uh getting getting uh, your game and continuing to evolve as a player too and that's a big yeah. part of it so uh what are you you know maybe just as we kind of wrap up my end uh, I want to let let you get on with some of the uh, with Andre and Brandon but you know what are some unique experiences that you can recall from from your time at Delhi Frank yeah there's, yeah there's a few man I would say um, you know so, some of the things I, I, I want to just keep pushing home the point of the uh, you know the, the actual the golf course the facilities the program itself you know not enough good things to say the town uh, really fell in love with up there. But the thing that really stood out to me for my career itself were the internship opportunities were just so unbelievable. And uh, when you're, you know, with, without a program like Delhi backing you, you know, when you're, when you're just a solo person looking for a job in the golf industry, uh, could be, you know, you know, relatively difficult to get landings at, at good positions. But the fact that, uh, you know, SUNY Delhi was always advocating on our behalf. We have a program of interns that's going back, you know, 15 years now of guys that, you know, have a, have built an unbelievable reputation uh, for Delhi interns. So we really had, you know, literally every course at our disposal. You know, we have, uh, you know, one of our turf management programs guys that down at Augusta. Augusta uh, we have like two, two down there recently. Two down at, you know, so, you know, we're talking about, you know, you think of, uh, 
uh, just as good as it gets in regards to placements and, and jobs at a SUNY Delhi. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a breeding ground for, for unbelievable opportunities. So I would really say that, you know, the standout thing was the internships. Because when you have four years of experience at a golf course before you even graduate, that's, uh, that's a huge asset, you know, for when, for when you, uh, you start your career. So that's my, my, my big standout, Jim, is the, the unbelievable opportunities that that gave me. And then, like I alluded to before, it's the backing of, you know, 10, 15 years of Delhi interns before you that have, have, have really paved the way to, to lead in a lot of opportunity for, for current, current Delhi students, both PGM and the turf management program. Yeah, those are requirements. I mean, that's part of the curriculum. You have to do it each summer. And then the last last internship is a is a lengthier internship, and they're they're you know perfect segues into really your career if if you choose to stick with the golf side of, of business. I mean, you immediately have some opportunities there right away, and and you know as as we learned in the business this past summer, uh, one of the only sustainable businesses through the COVID pandemic was golf. Most most courses are up 20, 30 percent. You know, we're seeing a lot of uh, job opportunities coming through our offices all the time, looking for workers, looking for interns, looking for young professionals just out of college that, you know, the, really there's tremendous opportunities out there right now. And yep. with, the, with this last summer's boom, I think uh, it's going to continue to be that way going forward. So. And then one more point I want to make too, Jim, before we wrap up here is, you know, things that stood out. Uh, I promise you, I'm not just saying this because Jim was in front of me, but the, the staff at, at, at SUNY Delhi, and I can speak for the, the PGM program myself. Andre's going to come on and speak about the turf management program. We've worked symbiotically, though, with the staff. is just so unbelievably talented and attentive and, and caring for their students that, you know, the, the entire time that we were there, uh, there was never a question of the, again, like I, I, I keep talking about our job opportunities uh, our, our kind of just our, our overall psyche, uh, you know, through Delhi and, and just having a, a friend and, and mentors to rely on throughout the entire process that have already have so much experience in the field that you're looking to go into is, is just uh, tough, to, tough to explain how much of an asset that really is, you know. So we're not learning from everybody gets nervous about that teacher that's only, only taught before. It's like, man, have you, have, you, have you been out there? Have you experienced what you're teaching to do? Uh, to have guys like, like Jim and Tom and, and Dave, have you know people that have worked in the industry for as long as you guys have and then the, the expertise that you get to share with us that that you've already done in the field that was such an asset and, and and such a such a tool because you know the program is is nothing without the staff and without the faculty behind it and you know as a former student there's uh no better staff and, and no better people to help you out on than, than at suny delhi so that's that's there's no doubt about that so big staff that to get us going on the, on the right start for our careers for sure yeah and, and we're lucky i mean our classes are nice size class size isn't super large. We're able to uh, establish relationships with the student, yep. get a lot of really personalized attention. And, and I think that's a, a huge asset for the program in addition to the internships. Yep. But is there any, maybe we'll look at any questions and then I'll let Andre and Brandon come on. And so I don't, you know, I think it would be better to get in addition, get, some good perspective from them. So. Yeah, for sure. So a, a couple of questions I have, just, just one uh, from SUNY Delhi PGM that just commented, just a good point to touch on. Uh, you know, la life on campus is, uh, is, is, is exceptional. Delhi's got a great campus, got a, uh, like Jim kind of talked about, it's a, it's a smaller school. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Jim, about 3,000 undergrads, 4,000 undergrads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a, a tight-knit school, a beautiful campus, though, and, and, and plenty to do on campus. You know, they, they, a, a bunch of activities going on all summer long. We have Clark Fieldhouse which is an exceptional, you know, athletic facility that keeps you busy if, you, if you're into sports and athletics. And, uh, and then also plenty to do in town as well, too. So if you like, uh, you know, un unbelievable views. I remember one of the things that when I <laughs> first visit came in some nice weather. And, and like Jim talked about, right in the heart of the Catskills and, and a really cool, you know, on-course campus experience. Anything else? Any other? Gosh, here. <laughs> I got Groach again. My classmates are still some of my best friends to this day. That's, that's the truth, man. You definitely uh, – you definitely yeah, and I think in both of these areas we've learned that you know it's it's a fraternity of of sorts and yep you know we all kind of you know I still and we all still talk to everybody as much as we can and uh, we're still friends and uh, we use this as net as a network and uh, I think I mean it, that can't be undersold and you're the people you're going to meet here you're just going to have be able to share 
opportunities with one another and work together to be successful. So, and we got, we got one more question there too, Jim. Someone asked how to stop getting dumped under. I'm going to say <laughs> stop, stop rolling that club face in the backswing. Just a quick plug for people in here. We've got to provide some value, but I, th I, th I think that we covered uh, most of the questions in here. I appreciate people. Uh, also some of our faculty chiming in, in the, in the comment sections, getting some, some questions taken for, uh, care of us as well. But just to reiterate again from some of the questions that we had, you do not have to be a member of the golf team uh, to be in the program. Uh, you could be on the – you could – and any, any, any student is welcome to be on the golf team. It's an open tryout for it as well too, which is cool. And, uh, and then that's kind of that there. But, yeah, totally separate entity. And, uh, and, and, and I got to share great, great question, uh, great comments from Ryan Boozman down there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ryan uh, graduated with – Classmate, right? Yeah, yeah say 2018, shout out to the class of 18. But Ryan just said, you know, the more you put into the program, the more, the more you get out of it. So uh, – which is absolutely true. If you really utilize the resource that you have in both PGM and TERF and in, in regards to the, the, uh, the faculty that we have and, and, and the, the rest of the students and really engaging with that and building long-term relationships, you can get a ton out of it. So I do love <laughs> the program. We'll give you as much as you give in. Yeah, this, so a little segue to Andre, and I'll, I'll kind of back out there. Somebody asked if you could use – I saw a question come up. Someone asked you, are you able to use the equipment, the turf equipment? And, yes, you know, they train you on how to use it uh, so that when you do go out on your internships that you're – you know, you have the ability to use a greens cutter or, or a fairway mower or uh, – you know, any of the equipment necessary to maintain the course. So, yes, they, they've got a tremendous turf center, uh, lots of equipment to try out, and you get your hands, you know, really get your hands dirty uh, with it. So, Literally, anyway. for sure, Jim. And then uh, I think that, that, that about, that'll about do it for our portion, I think, Jim. Just a couple. Yeah, that, that's good. Uh, and just a reminder, uh, any questions you might have, delhi.edu i mean go go to the web page um, or go to shot shaver beacons uh right at his bio and there's a really nice golf page that we've created to to maybe help you answer the question so Perfect. hey I, I appreciate you uh getting together i know you're busy frank i know uh this has been you know uh, a good time for you to get your your new uh job up and running and we wish you all the best with that and all the help you've done frank's been great he's sits you know with the with the new covid we've done some online zoom sessions and uh frank's always willing to and, and a lot of our alumni not just frank yep. are able to come in and and so i mean we've, we've learned a little bit on how to bring our alumni to provide what's what's really happening in the industry so absolutely anyway, uh, All right, thank Jim. you, everybody, for checking in tonight, and uh, we appreciate your time. Absolutely. So now the, the way that this is going to go, the, uh, the second half of this, I'm going to actually – Jim is, Jim is going to head out. So the SUNY Delhi account is actually going to head out. I'm going to continue the live on Shot Shaver Golf. So if you're here from uh, the SUNY Delhi page, don't worry. You won't get booted. Uh, you, could, you guys could remain in the live if you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and invite Andre in to join us on the live now. Andre is a former turf management student that's going to help talk about – uh, some of his experience with Delhi. So, Jim, I'm going to go ahead and give you the X night here, sir. I appreciate you being here. Give me the X. Thank you. X, of course. All right. Hello, all still. So, let me get Andre in here now. Give me one sec. All right. We'll invite Andre in. Hope everyone's having a good time so far. Wow, immediate Andre. He's here in the flesh. Appreciate you hopping in, man. I can't see it, Frank. Oh, there you are. You got me. There he is. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Thanks for hopping in, man. Just just wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, no problem. Thank everybody for the uh, their attention so far. And uh, Andre, do me a favor before I butcher the pronunciation of your last name. Please do it for me, pal. Uh, my last name's Kepler. K e p l e r. Kepler. Kepler yeah. Andre Kepler. Andre's joining us now. Andre is a Andre. 2018. You graduated as well, or a little bit prior? 2017. 2017 December. Yeah. 2017. So Andre, uh, Andre, we're at we're around the same time. Andre is the in the turf management program. Uh, again, I was in the professional golf management program. The two work side by side. Just to explain what those two are again, uh, the the PGM program is going to focus on the instruction and the the golf course, the 
outings, the pro shop, different things like that. The turf management program is going to focus on the maintenance of the golf course. So you need those two, those two parts of the industry working together. And, and we learn all about that at, at, at Dell, how to start. So Andre, quick, man, just quick introduction. Talk to a little bit about uh, where you're from and, and kind of what led you to Dell High in, in the first place. We'll get into some career stuff. Yeah, I'm from um, like central New Hampshire. Um, okay. So I'm out, out of stater and um, I worked I worked at a golf course um, actually in the pro shop in high school. And then after high school, I took a gap year and um, some older siblings had worked on a maintenance crew, kind of like jumped in right behind them for a gap year job and um, worked summer after high school straight through the winter and then one more season and that's like when i just that's when i found out um that like turf turf management was a thing i wanted to do and so i started to kind of research schools and there's none in new hampshire really there's like an agronomy type major out of unh and then mm -hmm. obviously umass and um yukon had a program yeah. and um but suny delhi was um the most affordable uh even being out of state yeah it was the most affordable and it was actually cheaper than doing any sort of program uh in state in new hampshire so um that was like the biggest reason for me yep um choosing dell high right off the rip yeah man Makes um, perfect just sense. Afford, it was just affordability i mean college is expensive so um but i did i did go to like an acceptance student day the, the facilities were impressive. The golf course um, being basically like yours. You're not borrowing like the town's municipal. It's like, it's the college's, um, you know, property. Yep. Like full, full, you know, access. So that was, um, you know, that was huge. Absolutely, man. And that's a, uh, and then just a, a point that I want to touch on there, Andre, is the, uh, you talked about the defense part of it. Again, SUNY Dell has a state run university. Uh, so it's going to wind up getting, so definitely the best price in the area compared to a lot of the pro gem programs and turf management programs are based on a lot of a lot of private schools where the, you know the pricing is obviously going to shoot up and and the the pricing structure at SUNY Delhi is also uh, what definitely got me interested as well. Andre, quick question you had down there, I just wanted to point out quick: Do you have to play golf to do the turf program? A couple of different things about that. Andre himself is a stick. We got some guys in the turf management program that can play some golf for sure and play it well like we said we had some guys on the golf team as well but turf is uh, for the turf program any kind of playing ability is, is not required uh for, for the degree but again these guys are around golf all the time a lot of great players and uh you know just if you're if you're if you do play a lot it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go the pgm route as well it just depends you're, you're in your passion in the industry uh but no no uh playing ability requirements uh, to be in the turf program so i want to let you guys know that so andre just break down for me quick man the the two different programs that, that the turf magic program offers. I know there's a two year degree, also a four year degree that, that the guys could choose from. Is that, is that correct? Or is kind of, or, or how, uh, or, or how the, uh, the kind of, kind of the program works. I know you guys usually graduate in December, the semester prior kind of has, how's the structure of the four years or the two years that, that, that you're there work? Yeah. So with the two year program, there's uh, two programs, like you said, um, one is an AIS associates in applied science. The four year program would um, get you your BBA um, in, sports turf management uh, and um so with the first with the smaller uh, the two-year program it really focuses on like the science the plant science aspect to it so you're really getting like a um a horticulture degree got it and um this lets you transition into landscape you know residential turf care sports turf um you know you take some planning and design classes for you know plantings and trees i mean it really gives you all aspects of horticulture and sort of plant science right. um, and, you know, soil sciences and, and, and all of that. Um, and then the four year program um, transitions you into like golf course planning and design. And that's when, you know, you and I would start to get a lot of classes together. The, yep. you know, the management side of things, you know, the staffing, the books, the budgeting, and that's sort of the side of the industry that you, or the value you get from moving on to the four-year program. Mm. Um, and in the two-year program, you get one internship required. But if you do the four-year program, you get uh, four internships, one of those being um, a six-month. So three, six, nine plus six, that gives you, um, geez, that gives you like, what is that, 15 months worth of paid internship experiments, uh, experience. Yep. With um, 
you know, part of your credit hours, you know, free housing, the whole, the whole nine yards, um, pretty much for all these internships paid. It's just, it's just so much value. Yeah. Um, I love, I love you made that point too. I kept saying internships. You're the first person that said paid internships, a big detail too. So all the internships at Dell, I shouldn't say all, uh, but they're, uh, you know, I say, oh, most of the guys are high. It depends on the job that you took. You happen to have a great opportunity to get paid. I certainly do that. Mostly all of the internships that you go to get are, are paid opportunities, which is exceptional. You know? So, all right, but very good. Good to about that. Now, talk to me a little bit about the facilities, uh, Andre, that, that Dell High offers. Kind of hands are on training they had in the industry or had prior uh, to the industry, kind of how the facilities at Dell High and the first program kind of shaped your, shaped your career. Yeah, I mean, besides like the – uh, really top-notch labs for like the soil sciences and fungicide assays and all of the nitty-gritty science stuff you know you've got a greenhouse where you know we we grew um you know our own our own grass plots and treated them and watered them and learned about how to grow deep roots and healthy turf um as well as some greenhouses like th two more greenhouses down at the um golf course facility on the lower campus and then, you know, the 18 hole golf course is just, is just so valuable. I mean, we, we did, um, irrigation installations, tea installations, um, nursery, nursery mm. installations, fungicide, um, you know, fungicide, you know, labs and, and plots out on real fairways, um, and, and then you've got, you've got the turf center um, where we learned a lot about, you know, some of the maintenance um, and the sharpening of reels and mowers and the, you know, the upkeep of equipment. So you really get, you really get like so much in two years um, between how to maintain equipment and then how that relates to, you know, caring for turf on like, you know, the cellular level. Absolutely, man. It's uh, kind of what me and Jim were talking about before too. It's like having the asset of the golf course there for both the EGM guys and probably even more so the turf guys, you know, like in regards to the real, real, uh, you know, hands-on and the PGM actually, I mean, it was as hands-on as a guest. I should probably say for both industries, but having a golf course uh, at your disposal, like, you know, literally feeling around where, where you're going to work and in both those programs, it's like, just, it's as good as a guest, man. Then a quick note too, I just want to go back to Tom Fillion, the head of the PGM program made a great point. I was, I was hesitant to say that they're all paid, but they are all paid internships though through Dell High. So, uh, you're getting uh, making real money all summer, you know, what, what, in, in between or in between your semesters, which is awesome too. So all paid internships. So very cool answers, though, man, about the uh, about the nursery and stuff like that. And that, where was that nursery? That was across the road from the from the golf course, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. There's like a there's like an arboretum as well, it's sort of like yep. this tree garden, and then they're kind of nestled in there um, near the horses. Actually, right. yeah, man, literally, literally near the horses. Very Dell High phrase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then also, uh, I've got uh, on the farm a comment there. Can I visit the camp? now even with COVID. We'll get a confirmation on that. I'm sure we're still doing some kind of uh, campus visits, virtual visits, stuff like that. Definitely ways to get you more information about, about campus visits for sure. And then a couple other questions for you, man. The, talk a little bit about your, did you feel, did you have, I know you said about the four-year program, it's more where you get the interactions between kind of PGM and the turf and the turf management degrees. I like that you pointed out too as well that, uh, you know, you're not, you're getting, you're getting information on every role that you could possibly have as a, as a superintendent, right? You're getting the, the basics of the actual maintenance of the golf course, you know, how, how to take care of all that. But then you're also getting the, 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 the concept how to budget staff and how to staff people, the, the laws that come, that come together with that, all these different things. Talk a little bit about that, the, the extent of kind of the, the start to finish is going to cover all the different things that you might see in, in the industry potentially. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're becoming, when you become, let's say a superintendent of a golf course, I mean, you are, you are now you're not just you know at first you're you're the one mowing the greens and you're you know you're out there you know caring for the course on equipment but once you make it to the pinnacle of superintendent i mean you're you're a boss you're a manager you're a staffer mm. you, you have to know how to find quality help you have to know how to you know um you know make 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 uh, employee budgets uh, salary budgets as well as you know equipment cost budgets and how those you know mesh and how they have to work together when you're given a budget from your you know general manager um and then you know there's there's people out there that run you know um courses as superintendents and, and they're still on the equipment and they're they're mm. oh, yeah. superintendent yep. they're the superintendent they mow they rake bunkers 
they do the budget yep. they they sharpen the reels and they they care for the equipment you know yep. mom and pop nine holes you know there's people out there that do it all so this really gives you like you know you want to be superintendent of wingfoot or if you just want to work on a nine hole par three and make that thing look like your augusta national you know yeah. what i mean so um it gives you it gives you everything all the bearings you need to kind of like succeed in whatever avenue um and then and then away from golf you know like i said sports turf you know i had a, i had a um classmate work for the new york red bulls yeah, um, awesome. for one of his internships um uh, baseball internships with minor league teams, major league teams. Um, and then I have a classmate who now has his own, you know, landscaping company. So it's, uh, you know, it sets people up for success uh, in any way. And, and talk a little bit more about that, Andre, about the, you know, we've been focusing so much more on, uh, so much on golf uh, tonight and, and golf related career. And if for the, for the turf management program specifically, there's other avenues in regards to where you might wind up. You saw people at different maybe MLB state or a landscape. Is it with there? Talk about how that's kind of promoted through curriculum. Is it maybe focused on, uh, you know, golf and, and, or is it, do they really talk about more, more different or stuff like that? Uh, fill me in on that a little bit, how the, how the curriculum is based around different facilities. Yeah. I mean, the golf, the golf is, you know, it's in the title and, um, but it also says golf and sports turf. And, and really you're just, you know, as far as the two year program goes, you're really, you're learning about a plant, you know, you're learning about, you're learning about how to care for it. And so where that plant, you know, resides doesn't necessarily matter as much. Mm. You know, they kind of, you know, you're learning about how to, um, you know, make a high level turf product and whether that's somebody's backyard, front yard, or whether that's, you know, major league stadium, um, mm. it kind of, it kind of really applies. So, you know, having the golf course at our disposal makes it golf centric, you know, you're learning how to, you know, mow a fairway, Yep. Um, you know, if you haven't done that before. Um, but that would, those, those pieces of equipment, those are used on major, you know, you know, on soccer pitches at, at collegiate stadiums, you know, yep. down to, you know, down to, you know, the own, they're, you know, the campus itself that most, you know, they take care of the soccer field as well. You know, there are avenues um, to be a, to be a superintendent of an NCAA you know facility as well you know the the finest of the finest um you know turf turf quality needed and um yeah it just it just it gives you the golf as sort of that's where you get to focus but those those that equipment is used on other facilities and also you know the science behind growing a you know a plant mm -hmm. uh, transitions to like any 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 uh any area Understood, man. As, as I'm, I'm actually great, made that point. It's a great point. And people in the comments as well, too. If you have other other interests, just in, in just uh, you know agriculture in general, and like Andre said, the science of actually growing plants and the development from from places other than just golf. Uh, you know, there there's those options. People excelling in in different places other than golf through Delhi's you know turf management degrees, which is exceptional. So thanks for bringing up that point, man. And, and then last, talk a little bit about uh, you know some of your specific experience through your internships, where you interned. Um, and kind of maybe some advice that you would have for going into the program, uh, you know, depending on your, maybe your personality or your interests or your goals of, of like, that you should probably have. Yeah. Um, so I started off at a course, you know, right after high school, um, right here in New Hampshire, kind of like a local, local course. And I'm back here now. Um, and then my first internship was actually at the only organic organically managed golf course in the country and that's down on the island of martha's vineyard off of the coast coast of cape cod mm. and and the way the way i got that internship was through another del high you know student ahead of me who came back and made he made a um you know a presentation about his internship and i was just like well this seems like an amazing place to go learn so it's like he got me the internship and that little net that little networking um happened like that was like first first-hand networking just like oh you know i met him he gave me the guy's number yep. made an application we had a conversation and then boom so um first internship was was the vineyard golf club organically managed look it up yep. awesome place um and that is like top top level internship great, great spot internship uh, experience you know we had 
actually four four Del High um, students on that staff at one time. So it was kind of like a Del High. Awesome. Man. Everybody knew that was the place to go learn. Yeah. Um, I learned some cool stuff about you know the struggles uh, and the the cool aspects of organically managing. Yep. And then I went into my sophomore year, and then the next internship was the Queechee Club, which is up here nestled in like the beautiful hills of Vermont. It's a 36 hole, just like premier, premier Vermont golf. Mm. And that gave me, you know, that was totally different. Not organic, 36 holes, yep. huge facility. You got to see firsthand of um, what, what it was like to run like a bigger operation. You know, there mm. was actually, there was actually a main superintendent and then a superintendent for each course and assistance off of those. So it was like this big tree. Got it, man. Yep. Uh, uh, so three superintendents on one staff, you know, definitely a, a new experience. Right. Fantastic experience, you know, paid housing, the whole thing. Um, and let's see. Oh, so after, after graduation um, from the associates program, I got offered a job back at the vineyard club as an assistant in training yep. and irrigation technician. So I spent two years, uh, two years back, back at that club. And um, yes, it was, it was cool being a part of that club because they're still growing and how to figure it out organically. So I was a part of kind of a part of that, you know, Cornell, Cornell university is doing studies down there, how to, how to help figure out how to make more sustainable practices in the industry. And they're using that as kind of like their test plot. So fantastic place to check out once you're, if you go, if you choose to ride with SUNY Delhi, you know, I would I definitely recommend um, checking out the Vineyard Club or the Quiche Club. Um, but but as to the other part of your question, like where to choose and how you can kind of go anywhere, like whatever you're interested in, there's an internship for it. Yeah. Because because like, you know, like as a business owner or a, um, a co-business owner, you know, you you want to find somebody with like with the passion uh with the passion to learn basically i mean that's mm. that's like, that's that's really what you want somebody who's gonna you know you can invest in them and they're gonna invest in you yep. uh, and, and there's a need for it you know especially because of covid it's just like it's just wild you know there's a lot of need and a lot of demand for just people that really really want to succeed and develop their career excuse me in in this industry yeah no doubt man it's probably the uh gym talk she talked about it before it's like one of the I'm sure there's a couple more, but like literally, the, it, it boomed the during COVID. You know, for you know, a lot, a lot of obviously, you know, people out of work and and down and, and golf had, had had one of its best years. Talk about really just sustainable careers. Golf's not going anywhere. These all these fields aren't going anywhere. You know, and so uh, they need us need us running the show. And I quick, quick point before we wrap up, the uh, Eddie Mags, great question down there, kind of talking about how. Uh, superintendents and and the pro shop and the, and the golf staff kind of coexist and I, I think Andre you could touch on it too but my you know main thought that there is that the the thing that we have most in common is we're both there to serve uh, the customer you know uh, our job is for extend by they have the best experience possible you know you talked about uh, different greens tournament play things like uh, you know the the more uh, more the super is with the with the head pro the better the flow is the better the, the operation is it's two, you know, really two totally separate day to day, which is kind of also what, uh, you know, what makes it so cool is because, you know, kind of keep out of each other's hair. You both know the roles and the importance of each other's roles. And, uh, and again, at the end of the day, both there, but the common goal is to give the customer, the member, with, you know, the, the best experience possible. And anything, uh, anything else you want to add to that, man? Okay, that's kind of, yeah, the yeah. I mean, the, um, that's a great point, uh, Edgar, um, you know, the, the communication between the two, you know, you guys are in basically like a, um, like a customer service role, right? You're just like front and center. Yep. Um, and, and you're dealing with the customer every day. It's completely different. We're caring for, for, for millions and millions of small plants and trying yep. to pr produce, you know, the best, you know, product for those golfers. Yep. Then, um, and you're doing your best to make sure that you're not, um, you know, overselling, what's out there on a certain day, you know, making sure that you let them know what to expect. You know, you're not going to tell them it's fantastic when it's been raining for three days straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so you say, Oh, the greens are running real quick. Have a great time. And we, they get out there and they're running <laughs> out of seven yeah. and they come back with complaints of me, you know, it's, uh, yep. you get it. so 
no doubt. Uh, but what's great about once you get into the um, those those four year program classes, you know, you and the uh, the PGM the turf students they kind of link up for a lot of classes. Yep. And you guys and 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 those guys get to become like friends with each other. Mm. Then they graduate. Then they end up maybe working at the same course. So it's like it's just a great way to um, build good good relationships with. Um, you know, the guys that are going to be on the other side of it. No doubt, man. Um, and, and you can, you can bounce ideas and the struggles that you both have with, with each side of it. You know, yep. what is your most common issue with maintenance? What is your most common with, you know, the staff and, yep. and having really, really open conversations about how to make it work better is important. Radios are huge. <laughs> Absolutely. Out there, you know? <laughs> yeah. No doubt, man. But I like the uh it's it's it, it, the, the beautiful thing about Delhi is that it's teaching you to, you know, kinda kinda like Eddie said, where when you're the PGM guys and the turf guys are gonna be working their whole careers together, uh, you know, side by side. In fact you almost get to experience that uh previously at Delhi, you know, and, and learning about about each other's roles and about the, both businesses, both sides of the business, I should say. Uh it gets even that more prepared once you once you go into the field. So um, it's uh, it's an exceptional thing, though, man. I wish uh, like that, now I'm only thinking I wish we had four classes together back in the day, Andre. You know, what I mean? yeah. Uh, but but you you made a great point about those last couple of years, uh, in the turf management program, really kind of side by side, uh, and, and and in the right time. Twenty, like four that that our, our our roles are, you know, at the same time, but you know, but the same common goal and you know, which is cool. So, but I won't take up too much of your any, any more of your time. I appreciate you coming on. There's so much value. Uh, he gave it tonight. I think we have a lot of you know potential turf guys tuning in. Some great questions that I answered, and uh, and you're the man, bro. Anything else to be cool with any uh, any uh, closing comments on on your time there and things like that? Yeah, I mean, ask a question if you got one. If you're in here, uh, yep. I mean, you're interested. And um, yeah, it's just a great place. I mean, the amount of time that I had one on one with professors is probably something I haven't touched on. It's like, uh, you know, you find a professor there, you know, going through some papers at. 7 30 at night in, in your building and you catch them when you're walking by their office say what's up and then you talk for 45 minutes about you know the lecture you had the day you know a few hours prior maybe i was a little nerdy but um, <laughs> you, you're paying for you're paying a lot of money to go to college and i think it's important to take advantage of those mm. aspects of of delhi if you go it's it's the you know catching the professors and getting as much value out of you know, what is a huge investment, um, you know, in your career. Yeah, no, I, it's funny, Manny said that. I said, you know, Jim asked me kind of the same question to wrap up our segment before, you know, something that's still, I was the same way, man. The faculty are, are such assets and, and they're, you know, it's, it's when you use them professionally, you know, uh, in, the, in the correct way, rather, you know, there's guys that probably, you know, come and go to class, whatever it be. And like you said, if you're that value, uh, you know, the, the staff members are, are, are providing that and some, you know, they're always willing to, the class itself, like you said, I've mean, had countless conversations with, with professors drop, dropping by. All of a sudden, it's one, two hours talking about, talking about you know all things industry, which is, you know. So, uh, I'm, I'm I'm right with you though. That's the standout for me about Delhi. Unbelievable staff gives you the the best opportunities in in the country to to go anywhere you want for your internships and for the rest of your career. But you are the man, Andre. I appreciate the insight, man. Learn more about the the program, some of you know some of, of your journey in the career, your career, and uh, and and nothing but good good things. I man, I appreciate your time. Yeah, for sure. If anybody on here has a question, uh, hit me. Hit me in my DMs. I'll be happy to answer any more questions. Sounds great, man. I appreciate it, bro. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you the boot now, dude. You're, you're the man. Thanks again for your time. And uh, again, take Andre up on that. Any any perspective turf management programs, uh, students. Same thing. Same thing for the PG guys in my DMs. Yeah, I, students, we're more than happy to help anybody. You know, with, with the come decision times. Again, Andre. Thanks, though, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, Frank. Talk Appreciate soon. you uh, asking me. Yes, sir. We'll talk soon, brother. Good night, man. All right, people. We're rolling. We're an hour in right now, talking all things about SUNY Delhi careers in golf. Let's just talk to the people a little bit before I get my last guest on here. We got the golf freak in the building. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you joining in. Um, Merle Durant, my guy Andre is the goat. I couldn't agree more with you, bud. Uh, Andre, uh, Andre is one of my, my favorite humans ever, unbelievable guy. And, uh, and just offered us some, 
some great value as well too about the about the, the turf management program degree at Delhi. And I love that he talked about that. It's not just for golf, right? We're talking about all things uh, athletics. You know, he's got buddies that have careers now at professional at, at MLB stadiums, different things like that. So, so a lot of a lot of different opportunities that you guys can get in through through both programs. Now, on to our last guest of the night. We're going to have Brandon Palmer in here, who's a current student at SUNY Delhi, to, uh, to, talk about, to talk about some of his experiences now and, and what he's doing. So just sent him a request. We'll have him pop in. And, uh, again, any questions that you guys might have, I appreciate who you, who you guys are still watching right now. Hopefully that you guys are gaining some value through tonight, and, uh, and hopefully we're answering some, some important questions for you guys. Now, that handsome fellow that you see at the bottom of your page, we welcome him, Brandon Palmer. Brandon has – Invited him in here through Balanced Performance. Is he, his name he's under? That's his. That's his instructional brand that he's created. Brandon is still a student at SUNY Delhi. He's in his senior year. His last semester uh, is currently going on. Brandon's had his brand of Balanced Performance since before he was even in college, and uh, has done great things with it. You know, throughout his four years. So, Brandon, I appreciate you joining in, bud. And let's 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 dive right into it, pal. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah, man. Sounds good. Thanks for having me on. Of course, pal. So just just quick. Uh, Quick introduction to yourself. Tell me a little about about where you're from and and what brought you to Delhi. How you found Delhi, and uh, maybe kind of just talk about high school brand and going through the motions of picking a college. Cool. Yeah. So originally from upstate New York, uh, Messina, Potsdam area, very very upstate, and yet had a had passion for all sports: golf, baseball, hockey. Um, just didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, for college, if college was right for me, mm. uh, really kind of what the the steps were going to be. And then I think it was a family friend kind of talked about Del High a little bit. Some other plans fell through and then I uh, ended up checking it out. Luckily enough, a couple of my friends were going to Del High, one for golf and then another for another great program, Mechatronics, Okay, uh, which is another great program. But yeah, so just luckily enough through my peers, got, it. got in touch with Del High. Definitely. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest. I did not think it was going to be a good fit for me. Um, and it wound up being one of the best opportunities in times of my life. So definitely blessed. Ooh. Yeah, that's, Ooh. That's, that's, that's no doubt about it. Talk a little bit, uh, you know, about, you know, maybe those things that you thought might not be a good fit, but then wound up mm -hmm. being, you know, exceptional in regards to people that are kind of on the fence about, about Delhi and maybe kind of having some of the same thoughts that you're having in your head. Yep that wound up like you know once you got on campus once you experienced the college you know kind of maybe open your eyes <laughs> uh yeah i mean college is a very daunting kind of task and you know step in itself so coming from a small high school mm. um i wasn't sure how that transition was going to be uh you know it's a scary thing you you have all your friends your family everything around and then now it's you move from home you're going to be living on your own got to meet new people mm. um and that's what delhi was great for so the the community and the size. So it is a smaller college like you and Jim spoke on. Um, but in my opinion, that is, that is the best way to do it. Uh, you get, even to touch on Andre's point, you get the best one-on-one -on -one time with instructors, with professors. Yep. Uh, they had a great golf course. So once I got there, I could tell that, um, you know, it's just about really finding your niche of people. And it was, it was incredible to find the golf team, the golf program, and then the curriculum itself, uh, you're definitely just really indulged in that. So it's something really cool. And Dell has, has fantastic facilities mm. uh, that you can utilize almost 24-7. So it's you never feel like you're alone or really struggling. So everyone's got your back at Dell High. It's nice. No doubt, man. It's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. I've been chatting up for a little over an hour now, and it, it <laughs> goes back to the people. You know, and you, you talked about, you know, potentially feeling uncomfortable, going to a, you know, being from a small town, going to a, uh, you know, going away to college and these different things. But the people – uh, at Del High is, is what separates it from so from so many different schools and so many different options. So, uh, you know, that's the uh, consistent theme of the night is that you're not going to find a better staff anywhere around. And, and, and we could talk for, you know, the whole college because we were obviously both in the, the PGM program, talk to some guys from the turf program. We, uh, during your four years at Del High, you know, you're not, when you're, when you're a PGM major, we talked about before, we also have our BA degree in business. So you're not just with golf kids all the time. You're with kids from the entire yep. campus, faculty from the entire campus. And, uh, you know, continue the, the, the point of reference I'm going to continue to make is that the, the faculty is, is as good as it gets. And it, it truly makes you feel like you're at home when you're at Del High, which is, uh, you know, which is why I think we speak so highly of it. So anybody watching today, we, me and Brandon, both in your shoes at one point, 
uh, a little nervous, a little, it's, it's, it's different. Change is always going to feel different. It's always going to feel weird, but uh, it's unbelievable how, how welcoming and how warm the, the staff is in the Delhi and it really makes you feel like family. It makes you feel like you're at, at home, which is, which is incredible. So tell me a little bit, Brandon, about your uh, internship experiences. So yeah. internship so far at Delhi. I know you're going in your uh, senior year now. You're in your senior year, so you have one more internship. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the internships that you've done uh, thus yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so my first internship, uh, the common theme is to go back towards usually your hometown, mm. uh, maybe work at a course around there, something you're comfortable with, see your family and friends. Uh, for me, I kind of wanted something a little bit more, kind of throw myself in the fire type deal mm. and went out to uh, Colorado and worked at the Broadmoor. So um, getting the gig is the big part, whether it's your hometown or you go a thousand miles away. But Delhi has such a community of graduates, current um, employees in the industry that it's really hard to not find a job or a spot that you're going to really enjoy. So my tip to anyone in the program or thinking about the program, you're going to find a spot that you like and you can basically pick and choose where you would like to work, whether it's a resort membership, uh, like Andre talked about, a real small ma and pop kind of shop thing. Yep. Um, and yeah, so my next one went to Pennsylvania after that. And then, yeah, you want me to elaborate on the times there or just kind of run through the you know, timeline of it all? I'll, I'll interrupt you quick. It just, just, it's really just a point that you just yeah. hey, man, this is an exceptional one. Me, me and Andre are talking about it. Me and Jim were talking about it. The, uh, the, the asset that you have in the network that Delhi has throughout the country, right? If you're going as, as a 19 year old trying to apply for a job at the Broadmoor, uh, just coming from, you know, random town in upstate, random town in Staten Island, New York, you're probably not mm -hmm. wow too many people. You probably won't get the gig. Who knows? But when you have the head professional or the head superintendent is a Delhi grad and mm -hmm. had, or they've had Delhi interns in the past, you know, it puts you on a different pedestal in regards to the, the hiring opportunities that you get. So, you know, you alluded to it your, you know, your first year of college, you're an 18 year old wide eyed kid. You decide I'm going to go halfway across the country for my internship. And uh, we got Darcy down there. Darcy, the great comment with the, the Caleb shout out. Caleb's absolutely right. Uh, mm -hmm. him, uh, a grad and, 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 and wound up, I think he actually did a presentation back at Delhi at one point, right? Did he, did he to do some kind of presentation? But again, giving us a heads up that he needed interns out there. And, uh, and that's how it works, though. So we have, we have Delhi people literally all over the country at some of the best facilities in the entire world. And, and we're lucky enough to, to have internships, uh, intern opportunities before we even graduate. You know, we're getting real hands-on golf course experience with, with real professionals in, in the industry that were just in our same shoes at Delhi, you know, which is a blessing. So definitely big shout-out to Caleb Blast out there in uh, big time. Colorado getting, getting Brandon hooked up with the gig his freshman year. So now yep. talk a little bit about your, you know, kind of just any, any unique experiences that you've had at Delhi. Talk a little bit about the, you know, the facilities, what your day-to-day -day looks like as a, as a PGM student at, at Delhi. Kind of bring me through what, what, what that, what that, what that uh, again, looks like. Definitely. Yeah, so in the PGM program, uh, of course, you go through all your classes, and then the curriculum itself will be hosted either at the course, mm. in a classroom, or uh, I think a past graduate talked about it before, to the swing lab that we have mm. uh, simulators. So now we have two simulators on campus, uh, one almost strictly for PGM or team players, uh, and then one for the entire campus where we utilize both classes um, for all the different sports and rec management, golf, of course, uh, team, the golf teams, both male and female, um, for instruction and just practice. So, yeah, through the day-to-day, -day, it would just be in, almost all surrounding golf. As you get closer to senior year, you get through the gen eds or the electives, um, and it gets really down to everything you're truly interested in. Uh, you know, we have – rules of golf we talk about we have a turf class so you really get a broad view of the industry so it's not like you come here you get the choice to kind of choose your path whether it's instruction whether it's you know working at the course you know the traditional role of the head pro uh you know so there's all different avenues and then they let you kind of work in some turf classes as well because you do need that uh tight-knit feel and you need to know how those operations work so there's not much miscommunication excuse me uh when you're actually in the industry no so as well yeah the curriculum really touches on all the facilities the bubble we have the bubble uh yeah so the gym as well so i mean you have 
countless opportunities we, to really work on yourself, your game, and then, yeah, the curriculum. No doubt, man. There's, uh, there's uh, yeah, n numerous things to do on campus. And we, someone asked before about, you know, kind of how you stay busy in the off season. Brandon alluded to it with the, you know, we have a, a simulator, a state-of-the-art simulator, two now, two simulators on campus. That, mm -hmm. uh, in a whole, we have a short game area inside and, and different things, an indoor bubble. When Brandon refers, refers to the bubble, Del High grads and Del High guys know what they're talking about. It's just a huge indoor sports uh, recreation center that we have at Del High. So, again, the, it gets a little bit chilly in the winter. Got to make sure you have plenty to do with the uh, and and Delhi definitely provides all that and some. So now a couple couple things I want to wrap up here with you with Brandon. We we both uh, played on the golf team as well at Delhi. And or you know we talked about it before. You don't necessarily have to play. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> have to you uh, in, in order to be in the program. You don't have to play on the golf team. In order to play on the golf team, you don't have to be in the program. Those two you know two separate entities. But talk to me a little bit about you know the the legendary Coach Earhart for 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 a few. Uh, we could talk about him all night, but talk a little bit about, you know, your experience with Dave, with, with, with Coach, yeah. you know, the golf team in general and how that mm -hmm. helped your, your career here so far. Yeah, definitely. So what I want to touch on first is a majority of the PGM programs in other areas, they don't let you play on the team mm. if you're in the program. So the beauty of Del High is you can do both if you have that luxury. So, uh, yeah, so we'll get right into it. So, yeah, Coach Dave, uh, one of the greatest people I know we've ever met mm. and – it just goes back to that community feel it, you know, he, he's like a dad to us, a brother, and he's a great coach. And it's, it's really fun. That's something I'm going to miss the most is all the traveling and uh, you know, the, the trip in February to Florida for the season opener, Yep. all things like that. So it's a, uh, he's an incredible guy. He, he does teach some of our rules classes as well. So he's not just the coach. He's a professor as well. So, definitely uh the team if you can get on the team it's it's one of the best choices you can possibly make for your game as well as just for getting used to the industry and traveling as a player for sure and the cool thing about the golf team too is it was a uh a humbling experience you know the, mm. my, my freshman year went went there <laughs> hot, hot shot golfer from staten island and then got cut hard from the golf team by coach air yep. oh, man i know i didn't play my, my best golf in the tryout he still could have put me on the team well we'll leave it as it is but the uh, the great thing about Delhi is that it really is a very very competitive team, a competitive team to make uh, with it with a PGM program on site, the Turf Badger program, and just and just some you know some talented golfers up there to, at a great facility. Uh, it's uh, you know especially trying to keep your game in, in check, and, and it's a it's a awesome accomplishment to you know to be able to make the golf team, but a really competitive environment that keeps your game in check. So definitely a major shout out to to Dave though. It's, it was uh, you know playing on the golf team. Dave Earhart up there was uh, you know definitely one of the one of the fondest memories about about Delhi for sure. This, the, the team, the squad, and and then, of course, coach as well. So, give me a couple. Give me a little bit of a wrap up, Brandon, uh, about you know if you're 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 thinking you're talking to you know eighteen year old you, seventeen year old, sixteen year old you, uh, you know different things that you would you know just like to point out in regards to just just your your wrap up on the people mm -hmm. program. You know what you're thinking about it, and yep. what, or uh, you know what you'd recommend, and, and and how you'd be talking to past you right now about what you know mm -hmm. the, the PGM. Awesome. So, yeah, it definitely comes down, like we talked about, the connections. Yep. Uh, the connections are just too good to pass up, and that goes through all the internships, uh, the people you meet while at Delhi, and then just the vast amount of alumni you have mm. in the industry, and that just goes back, ties it right into the connection. So with the facilities, the connections, and the tight-knit group, mm both on campus, whether it be your peers or the actual instructors themselves, uh, it really is a no-brainer. You have the golf team, the PGM program. So even if you're not on the team and you do enjoy golf, and you don't even have to be in the PGM program, but we do have – it's kind of tough to say, but we have a PGM club. There it is, PGM club, where you do events both local and at neighboring courses. Yep. Great meetings, a lot of different uh, merchandise we do there. So – so many different avenues if you enjoy the game of golf you don't have to be the best player you don't have to be a top instructor but uh it definitely gives you the opportunity to become all those things so oh, damn, man. solid facilities solid group of people and uh the connections will definitely go to show job placement is 100 percent, no doubt that can't beat that man so 100 percent. it's a, a travesty but that I think might be honestly one of the first times that this has been been brought up. But it's a uh, it's a hundred percent 
job placement through SUNY Delhouse. There's not a lot of careers that can offer that, and let alone a career that you love in golf. But through both programs, uh, the professional, the, the, the sports and, and turf management programs, as well as the PGM program, the professional golf management program, uh,